On July 20, 2012, Operation Blessing held its sixth boat presentation ceremony for Japanese fishermen devastated by the tsunami. This time, Operation Blessing presented brand new boats made in China, and Yoshimasa was one of the happy recipients. I was having a difficult time getting my own boat. I had to borrow boats from other fishermen to work on my oyster platforms. But Operation Blessing told me that they would be giving me my very own boat, and I am so grateful. We had received various kinds of practical aid from Operation Blessing because of the tsunami. And one thing led to the other. This is the Shiogama Fish Market in Miyagi Prefecture. Here, Yoshimasa has his office, and from where he runs his oyster cultivation business and his fundraising program, the Urato Uminoko Recovery Project. The project invites the public to purchase vouchers that can be exchanged for harvested oysters and other seafood once the local fishing industry has been restored. The project caught the eye of the media, and ultimately, Yoshimasa was able to raise over $2.2 million to help the fishermen purchase needed equipment. We were able to get a lot of support from the public quite quickly. Yoshimasa, who had given up his white-collar job to become a fisherman and had just moved to the island, had no idea what he was about to go through because of imminent disaster. On March 10th, the day before the big earthquake, I had taken delivery of a boat and had moved to an apartment on the island. I thought that I was now ready to get started with my oyster business. But then, the next day, the big earthquake and tsunami came and destroyed everything, including my boat. It was while an Operation Blessing team was visiting Yoshimasa's tsunami-devastated island that Yoshimasa first came in contact with Operation Blessing. The Operation Blessing team was meeting with leaders of the local fishing cooperative. And I was there too. President Bill Horan asked us what we needed, and I told him that we needed some computers. And then the very next day, Operation Blessing turned up with some notebook computers, generators, and a Wi-Fi card to connect to the internet. Because of this aid, I was immediately able to start sending messages on Twitter. And we were able to call for support from all over Japan. Yoshimasa sent Operation Blessing the following email. Thank you very much for your wonderful support, Goods. We, the staff of the Urato Fishing Cooperative, have been using them right after you gave them to us. We are so grateful for your kindness. Many of us had lost the will to keep fishing because we had lost so many things. But now some of us have started to regain the motivation to fish again because of your kind offer for support. This heartwarming letter from Yoshimasa confirmed for Operation Blessing that we were on the right track and more aid was provided, valued at over $600,000 in the form of anchors, floats, and other gear used in oyster and seaweed cultivation, plus nets, so that the fishermen could go back to work as soon as possible. In the fall of 2011, despite expectations to the contrary, the fishermen were able to get a good crop of oysters and seaweed and an abundance of fish. And in recognition of Operation Blessing's swift support, which resulted in such a large impact, 
local governments have taken notice. The mayor of Shiogama presented a certificate of appreciation to Operation Blessing President Bill Haran. And in a report issued by the National Government Reconstruction Agency, Operation Blessing's work was introduced as a good example of a cooperative recovery effort between an NGO, the city, and the local fishing cooperative. If we hadn't been able to send messages over the internet, we could not have started the fundraising project to help the fishermen. Yoshimasa now owns two oyster-growing platforms in Matsushima Bay. He now has a boat provided by Operation Blessing and is busy with his oyster cultivation. Today his buddy Hayato, who also received a boat from Operation Blessing, is here to help. These two young fishermen are bringing in new energy to the fishing community in Japan. So many different things changed because of this huge disaster. But so many people helped us, and it is because of their support and the help of Operation Blessing that we have been able to make it. I am so very grateful. Operation Blessing continues with its tsunami disaster relief work in Japan to bring hope to fishermen and help them get their lives back together again. <laughs>